Hello, um, I'm just going to show you my stick insects. Um, first of all, I want to say that this little you know, vivarium thing they have is not for long term. It's just for short, short term because it's very easy to clean and take the eggs out, which they are really making quite a lot at the moment. I only cleaned that a couple of days ago because they need new ivy every other day. Um, but I've left it two days because it's still very moist. Just. Um, but as you see, there's loads and loads of eggs. So um, I'll be cleaning them out today, well, maybe tomorrow even, um, to get all the eggs. But it's just for short term. But this is a very good cage because it comes full uh, of vivari vivarium, or terrarium, as you may call it. I don't know which one it's called, it, but there's loads of them, so I'm just going to call it cage. Um, but you can just easily hook this up, hook those corners up, hook that corner up and take the whole lid off. And then just pick out the eggs and then just throw the poo away and with the ivy or whatever you feed stick insects. And it's so easy and especially um, to very easy when you have babies. Because if you have a big tank it's quite hard to spot them in all the leaves and it would take me hours because it's, I'm still trying to find it hard. Finding my stick insects. I only know where one is. That's one. I don't know what the other one is. So I'm just going to find my other one. Where's Lisa? Oh, there she is. Oh, she's she's using the ivy. That's good. It's the first time I've ever seen them use the ivy. So when I first got my stick insects when they're little babies, um, I put them in here because um, I think it was like big enough but then they became quite big and I didn't expect how big they would grow. They are quite big actually. They're from, from around here to over there. So they're very big. So I bought a bigger one. But now they've started breeding after I've five or six months I've had them. It must be six or seven months now. Yeah six or seven months. They have started fertilising eggs, not breeding. So I've got both got girls, Lisa and Spinach and yeah they're really cool. Um I'll show you the eggs I've got, and obviously, I don't know how many there are in there now, but I will keep you updated on how the eggs are getting on and how many there are. <laughs> um, I'm pleading my friends to have some of the eggs because, well, when they've hatched, because there's so many of them, I don't think I'll be able to care for them. And I also did this video, but my dog has gone downstairs. She was guilty because I found her in my room, and she's not supposed to be upstairs, so she was pretty guilty. But I just missed her. She went downstairs. Oh, say hello, fishies. I need to clean this tank out. It looks a lot worse on my phone, but it's not that bad. It's just a bit dirty. This is pretty dirty at the bottom, so I'm going to clean it out today or tomorrow. Not today. Oh, I keep on forgetting it's night time. Um, I might have said before, but I am feeding them on this, and I find it so, so good. It just keeps the water really clear, and it says at the back how to use it. And when I first got this, I just thought I just ignored it and gave them big bits. And it really messed up the tank, and I had to clean it out like every other week. But now I need to clean it out every month. I, but I have to clean it out, because, I mean, that's what they all say. But I wouldn't need to, really. It's still very clean. So I've, this is just a bit over a month, about a month and a week. So I'm still sticking to the regulations of how many times you need to clean the fish tank out, so don't worry. But it does look a bit grubby, so I need to clean it out. Um, here are the stick insect eggs. Have I don't know if I've shown you before if I have. No, I don't think I have. But I'm keeping them in this little pot, which has little air holes on either side. Um, and they've got... Well, I'll show you in a second. Okay, so now I've opened it. Um, you can see the pot is quite deep. So when they do hatch... Um, uh, not very deep, but when they do hatch, I'll put them straight into another container. It's going to be about up to here. So, um, be a bit bigger. But I want to separate them from the adults until they grow a little bit bigger, because um, it'd be quite hard for me to find them, especially when they're with the adults, because they can go underneath and everything, and I couldn't be able to find them. So I'm doing that. I've got 57 in there at the moment, with some tiny, teeny ones, just in case they don't hatch. But yeah, they're really tiny. Some of them are just specks. But they have actually grown a little bit. I have seen that they have grown. I'm not spraying them at all, because last time I sprayed them, they went mouldy. And my friend had them, and she didn't spray them at all. And they were absolutely fine. They hatched within three to four months. So I'm hoping mine... So I, when I first got them, they were a bit dry, so I did spray them. Just a tiny bit. But now they, they seem very, very fine. And they're really growing. So hopefully they'll be hatched within a couple of months. 
So I'm waiting for that, and I've just lined it with tissue paper, normal tissue paper. I don't need any soft versions or anything. But yeah, they seem very fine. And they're just near the radiator, so it's very nice and mild. Um, and near the fish sets so gives them evaporation type thing. And in the morning it was quite evaporated. So I don't know what it is. It just some like mist in it. So that was quite good. So they had a bit of fog, as you may call it. But yeah, so I keep it in the fish tank. It sounds like they're really cold, but they're not cold in the night. They're really quite warm. But I keep it in the mid twenties, so they're quite they're very warm. Um, I haven't told you about my news that I might be getting a crested gecko because I held one in the in the day and I really loved him. So yeah, I might be getting a crested gecko. That's where Minty usually goes, but she's not in there at the moment. Oh, sorry for all this mess. It's because my guinea pigs were in it and I made a rim with cushions so they could run. Oh, yes, I missed. You haven't seen the guinea pigs yet. But oh well. Um, what else is there? There's nothing else. I don't really like going around the room, especially when my haps is asleep. I don't really like waking them up. Minty's fine. Um, yeah, that's about it. Nothing happening. Nothing at all. So they're all fine. My sticky insects and my fish. And my sticky insect eggs. So, yeah, that's fine. Bye-bye.